Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I want to share this junk journal that I made for October or Halloween. It measures approximately four and a half by six. So it's pretty small and compact, and I actually used a Velveeta Shells and Cheese box to make the cover so it's upcycled from that um, this is what the spine looks like I just did a little um, spray and splatter on a pattern scrapbook paper this is just a little tassel with different fibers and ribbons the front is layered with die cuts and then this is just like a digital image that I printed. And I left this bottom area open. Um, I didn't want to embellish the cover too much so that it could be easily put on a shelf. And then this is the back, another just digital image that I printed off of the internet. For the closure, I used eyelets and some dyed seam binding. And some of the seam binding is also included in the tassel. The tassel is connected with one of these little garment pins and there's also an eyelet, eyelet here if you want to switch that out and you can actually just take this off so this is just tied in a bow here this includes I think it was 224 pages the pages are actually quarter page so they're 4.25 by five and a half approximately. Some may be a little smaller, some may be a little bigger. I did leave the, the linen thread from binding the signatures into the book. So, and there are four signatures. The stitching is hidden. I left the front cover blank so that whoever can gets this can embellish as they see fit. As you can see, it's pretty full, but you can squeeze it closed. I think it's just mostly because of the tea stained papers that give it that bulk, but it's not really actually bulky. So in this first signature, I'm just gonna kind of flip through and point out a few things. I didn't use a lot of scrapbook paper because I wanted this to have lots of room to journal and actually add your own items to it. So, and I do have a little stenciling throughout. This is just a little belly band I made from a die cut, a little piece of Tim Holtz ephemera, and a little dig envelope that I made from a digital download. This is a book page, and then just a tea stained paper, a little bag. It's got a little tag and just a little journaling spot here. The little tag with the little uh, rosette trim slides right in there. More writing space. Just a little envelope. There's nothing in it, so you can put your own little notes inside. And it's just a gold clip, small gold paper clip holding it on. This flap is open. You could glue the edges down to make it a pocket or just leave it as a flip out. Tea stained paper. A little more stenciling. Again, lots of space for writing. And then this, I couldn't resist. It's not in keeping with the theme of the journal, but I just love this Petrified Bat sticker and had to add it, so there's that. I did put a few little lace tabs that are stapled on with a tiny attacher. Again, a little more stenciling. There's a signature center. Again, you can cut these off if you don't want them hanging or you could add beads or other embellishments to them. Here's another one with a die cut, but a room for journaling. A little stenciling. And here's a little pocket 
with a tag and just a little piece of the scrapbook paper another die cut this one is like a belly band has just a tag it slides right behind there and then this is another little envelope with just a little piece of the book page in it and you can of course put anything you want in these envelopes and it has a little stenciling on it as well here's another fold out that can be turned into a pocket you can put photos or other ephemera keepsakes in it more space for journaling here's a little tea stain bag that has another envelope in it little envelope it's actually a uh, cut apart or part of a scrapbook paper and this is what the back looks like I didn't put a lot of black and orange in here there are hints of orange in here but I kind of wanted it to be um, just like an off-white tan brownish and black and here's another another little piece of ephemera for journaling or just adding a note this is a doily that I sprayed and used some glimmer mist on and attached it to the page. I think these turned out really nice. The book page, a little pocket sprayed and punched, a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera and another little space for journaling. In there another fold out that can be turned into a pocket and then here's the next signature and this is uh, a printout from online and it's distressed with black so it's got Peddler's Disguise Formula on one side and Poison Apple on the other side. It's just on here with a paper clip. There's scrapbook paper. Then this paper here has a little punch detail and it just folds out like that. This is from some page flags that I had and I thought the design fit right in with the book. The page flags on their own don't stick, so I've glued them in just as a little accent on the page. Another piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. This is a paper bag that has a pocket here, as you can see, and also opens a pocket here. This is a black vellum. Uh, it has like a sparkly finish envelope, and it slides right in there like that. Again, another one of those page flags. Oops. Then I have a pocket flap. It's distressed and also has room for journaling. This was a cut apart and here is a tag with eyelash trim. So there's that. More room for journaling. I like the way this paper came out during the drying process. Then we have a little lace belly band with an envelope, a book page envelope. And that just slides under here and have a clip here holding it in place. More room for journaling, book page, another lace tab, more stenciling. Here's another center of the signature page flag accent. A Martha Stewart Halloween sticker. This is a tag and it's like a double tag so it flaps over the page. Here's another small tag. This also has some 
glimmer mist spray and a little stamping a book page more tea stain paper for journaling here's some more tags eye of newt at your own risk these are uh, stickers and the paper is sprayed also another cut apart and this is a pocket with the punched edge and this was um, a graphic that I had on my computer from last year um, and I just doubled it so it's actually and I distressed the inside so it actually is room for more journaling and then I just clipped it over the two pages tea stain paper more tags this was a little stamping it's just a little stamping it says all hollows eve with a little spray detail another tag from the scrapbook paper and here's another smaller tag another martha stewart halloween sticker here's another bag again the bag is open here and there's also a pocket have this little die cut piece a tag and then this is a double tag distress and it opens up to like a haunted mansion type graphic it slides in there this is another fold out page Paper. This is like a parchment paper. And here's another fold out scrapbook page. And then we're on to signature three. Again, this is just a folded piece that you can use for journaling. And it's just clipped onto the edge. Another cut apart. And this is what the back design looks like. More stenciling. Another uh, glassine bag. This is just black paper. And you can use a white marker or uh, jelly white jelly roll on that another scrapbook paper this is just a little tuck spot and this is a little booklet that opens up it's got the little cat scene the little grave scene this sits right in there and then this is just a distressed tag This is one of the Tim Holtz, um, oh, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but it has lots of little tucks in here where you can slide ephemera or tags or whatever you like down in there. So, and this is just a piece of a cut apart from the scrapbook paper this is a die cut with a little stamping and just a plain black tag here so all of those there's room to actually fit more in here okay book page center of the signature and then stenciling this should actually be like this. Book page. Another page flag detail. Okay, and then this is another stopper page, another cut apart from the paper. This just is an index card. You can open up nice journaling spot. Then this is a book page that is folded over the page. 
it has a pocket here, a pocket here. This is a little black tag. Again, a tag witchcrafted. And then this is just a little envelope with one of the Martha Stewart stickers. It just opens up like that. Let's put this over here like that. Then again, this flips out. Then on the other side, still a little pocket here. There's also a pocket back there. And you have two small tags here. A black one and then one with the scrapbook paper and one of the bat stickers from Martha Stewart. Another glassine bag. This is just a vintage style envelope. It goes in here. And then again, one of the digital um, envelopes downloaded from the internet. They don't have anything in them, but you could fold and put your own little note in there. Again, with the, uh, I stained these doilies myself and sprayed them with a little glimmer mist and it's attached to the edge of the page. And this is just a little tuck spot with the scrapbook paper. Let's go with this. This is a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera in the envelope. And then I glued one of the treated doilies onto the outside of the envelope. So it looks like that. And then this is the other side. And that tucks right in there. So we could tuck it this way. And then just a piece of black paper. Another one of the Martha Stewart Halloween stickers. Again, another one of the stickers. Here's a pocket. It has very delicate paper here. Paper tag, another of the die cuts. And you can use these like to label sections just to add a little uh, spot to give a description or a journaling spot. Another little place for journaling. And this is also a pocket here. So, it's the end of the third signature and the fourth signature. Again, with the fold out that can be turned into a pocket. This one actually has a pocket on the page. This is a tag that I print it and cut. And just, I think this is the most Halloween item in here, actually. Um, to me, anyway. Um, this is, I forgot to mention that this second signature and this fourth signature have these pages with a tab on top at the beginning of the signature. So we got that one. Then we have a belly band with this raven tape design in it. Nice big journaling spot. And that just slides right down in there. More tea stained paper, book page. Another of the paper bags with another of the die cuts. This one has a tea stained envelope and also has a pocket here as well as here. This one has the lace tab. Details on the corner of this fold out. Punch details. Tea stained paper. This was a die cut. I figured you could put a special sticker or a photo in there, like a nice frame. Parchment paper, tea stain paper. This is a pocket. And then this is just a piece of ephemera. It says Halloween, the eve of all saints or hollow. So that's just clipped on there. This is the center of the signature, another die cut. T 
tea stain papers, stenciling, a page flag, scrapbook paper. Here's another bag, pocket there and a pocket here. This is an index card journaling spot, tea stain also. Book page, tea stain paper, scrapbook paper, and then another fold out that can be turned into a pocket. That's the last page. And then this um, glittery black sugar skull in the back. And again, here's the back. And that is it. This is actually the first junk journal that's in a book style that I have made. I've made them like traveler's notebooks, but this is actually my first book. And I'm going to put this in my shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.